I'm Lisa Blah, and in this video, I'm talking about the complications and potential consequences of having an affair with someone with untreated borderline personality disorder, or BPD for short, and what to do if you've ended the affair, but they won't accept your decision. I will not spend any time talking about all of the reasons why you shouldn't have an affair with anyone or the harm it can cause, but I will say that having an affair with someone who has severe or untreated BPD carries significant additional risks, especially if there are co-occurring antisocial or narcissistic traits. Although a lot of this information can apply to men with BPD as well, I am referring to a female with BPD in this video as I find that there are so few resources for men on this topic. Please take a moment to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell. Okay, so I will start by saying that not all individuals with BPD will behave in destructive ways at the end of a relationship, but unwanted pursuit is common. So this is where the borderline continues their efforts to get back together. For the most part, these efforts can be benign, uh, like sending unwanted emails, texts, or begging to see you. But in a certain percentage of cases, this can turn into chronic, obsessive, and pathological behaviors that are psychologically damaging to the victims. I'm going to start by reading an email that I received from a woman recently, and sadly, I've heard this story multiple times. Note that I did change some of the details for anonymity purposes. So she says, my husband up until this point had been faithful and a devoted father for over 20 years when an old high school acquaintance uh, contacted him through Facebook because she was moving back to town. She told him that she had borderline personality disorder almost immediately but it didn't mean anything to either of us since we didn't know anything about this disorder. Almost immediately, I felt uncomfortable with how flirty she was with him. I would tell him that it made me feel uneasy, but he would blow it off saying I had nothing to worry about. I found out later that they had started an emotional affair online that turned sexual once she moved back. He said that at first she told him everything he wanted to hear. She made him feel appreciated and valued. It didn't take long for this relationship to turn into a nightmare that he didn't know how to get out of. When he tried to end it, she threatened to kill herself and blackmailed him, saying she was going to send pictures to his boss, his friends, me, and even to our kids. She was calling and texting him constantly. Finally, he confessed the affair to me. I can't even describe how devastating it was, how hurt and betrayed I felt. We talked a lot. He apologized a lot. And we both agreed that we wanted to try to work things out. When he made it clear to her that the relationship was over, she made good on her threats and sent me awful texts, emails, and explicit photos. She was absolutely vile. We blocked her every which way we could, but she'd open up new accounts, call from other people's phones, show up to places we go, and she'd even send things through regular mail. We eventually put a restraining order on her uh, for protection against stalking violence. Thankfully, she's not reached out since the order was put in place, but I am not at all confident that we've seen or heard the last of her. I hate that my husband had an affair and that he didn't see the warning signs that this person was so unwell. Now my kids and I have to deal with the consequences of his poor choices. Not that I think he should have to pay for this mistake for the rest of his life. I do want to move on with him, but it seems impossible. Again, obviously not everyone with BPD will behave in devastating and dangerous ways. But if this happens to you, where you've ended or are trying to end an affair and they refuse to accept your decision and continue to pursue or harass you, you'll need to understand that this person, regardless of their specific diagnosis, has formed an extremely unhealthy attachment to you. And there is likely nothing you can say or do to convince her to let you go even if she knows the relationship is toxic, 
it will be incredibly devastating to her to detach from you. She will not accept no for an answer, no matter how many times or how many ways you say it. Instead, she will beg and plead to talk things out. Can't we just be mature adults? She'll offer sex. She'll offer to help you or give you things that are of value to you. No strings attached, of course. I've got two tickets to Madame Butterfly. Two weeks from Thursday. I'd really love it if you'd come with me, kind of as a peace offering. Well, that's, uh, that's very nice of you. But I don't think it's a good idea. No strings attached. If you continue to refuse, she will have an extreme emotional meltdown, crying and begging at your feet, threatening to harm herself or making suicide attempts. She may promise to do whatever you want, give you whatever you need, go to therapy, respect your boundaries. Um, she pleads and needs to know why you can't just give her another chance. Can't you see how hard she's trying? You'll never get to see what this could have been. I just want to be a part of your life. Oh, this is the way you do it, huh? Showing up at my apartment? Well, what am I supposed to do? You won't answer my calls. You change your number. I mean, I'm not going to be ignored, Dan. And she just can't believe how cruel you're being. Don't you have a heart? How could you betray her like this? She may launch into false accusations, name calling, or start raging at you. And if you continue to enforce your boundaries, it might make you feel like the worst person on the planet. It may cause you fear, self-doubt, and extreme guilt, making you feel vulnerable to falling back into this toxic cycle. But the longer you try to persevere, the more complicated things will get. When you're firm about ending the relationship, it is quite possible that this rejection will trigger extreme pathological behavior. So what do you do? First, if she's not accepting your decision to end the relationship, make sure that you are not sending any mixed messages. The person with BPD is not going to get hints and they will take anything kind or positive that you say as meaning that there is still hope and that they just need to be more patient and persistent. So you will need to be very clear, very literal and very consistent in your words and your actions. In your mind, maybe you're trying to let her down easy, but remember You've already tried this. You've already tried to be mature. You've given your reasons. And any kindness or efforts to explain things further will keep you stuck in a loop and it will be interpreted as an opportunity to get you back. So in no uncertain terms, assertively let her know that it's over. If this was an affair, then be clear that you are wholeheartedly choosing your wife and your marriage. Number two, once you set clear boundaries, maybe she will walk away and find someone else. But chances are you will need to enforce your boundaries because tomorrow or next week she will have just one more thing she needs to tell you. One more crisis she needs your help with. One more offer you need to hear. She's in a state of desperation, trying to find any little crack in your armor. Whatever angle she takes, it is all with the goal of convincing you to try one more time. But don't open that door, not even an inch. Three, if she continues to breach your boundaries, you will have to go no contact. No contact means blocking off all lines of communication. You may be afraid to cut contact, worried that she is going to make good on any threats that she's made, that she will seek revenge, and this is possible. But at some point, there just isn't a civilized way out and continuing to appease her will only prolong the agony. Number four, once you go no contact, it may severely trigger her fears of abandonment. She will not be able to understand how you could do this to her, seemingly making no connection whatsoever between her behavior and your decision to block her. As horrible as it may feel to do this to someone who is clearly unwell and in a state of emotional distress, you will get to a point where you realize that it's the only way. 
Unfortunately, it's not an easy way out because once the person with BPD feels betrayed, they will likely paint you black, in which case there will be held to pay and they will feel completely justified in seeking their pound of flesh. Obviously, something you've been trying desperately to avoid. However, being an emotional hostage for the rest of your life, in my opinion, is an even worse fate. 5. Psychologically prepare for the threats, emotional manipulation, and blackmail. If there are antisocial traits, there may even be threats of physical violence. If things get to this point, she will do everything in her power to burn your life to the ground and make you pay for what you've done to her. I'm sure I don't need to tell you this, but you need to stay far, far away from her, no matter what. You must never agree to meet up with her, um, and if you see her somewhere, turn around and go the other way. Number six, keep records of all incidents and efforts that she makes to contact you, including dates, times, and all of the details. Save any messages, emails, or other forms of communication as evidence in case she makes false accusations against you. Number seven, inform trusted friends and family of your situation and remember that even if this is an affair and you feel embarrassed it is better for them to find out from you what's going on and to find out your version of events number eight if she continues to pursue harass or stalk you consult a lawyer or law enforcement authorities to find out what your options are and understand what legal measures you can take in order to maintain your safety and if you feel threatened or in immediate danger contact police. Nine, find a support group and reach out to a therapist who specializes in harassment and stalking situations, preferably one who provides trauma therapy so you can heal and take your life back. If this was an affair and you're staying together, then get couples counseling and make sure all of the members of your family have support. Number 10, limit the amount of time spent thinking and talking about the affair partner. Do your absolute best to close the energy highway between you and that person who is harassing you. Cut them off in your mind. Expend as little energy as possible on them. Depending on the severity of the situation, you may need to schedule times to debrief, but barring emergencies, try to limit the amount of time thinking and talking about whatever she's doing to create drama, fear, and chaos in your life. Because this is exactly what she wants, to consume your energy and your attention, to ruin your life. So cut her off completely. If you have an affair with anyone, you stand to lose a lot. If you have an affair with someone with severe or untreated BPD, Especially if there are co-occurring narcissistic or antisocial traits, you may find yourself in serious trouble that you can't get out of. Please take a moment to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell as it helps YouTube recognize that this is valuable content that should be recommended to others.